Hi everybody, I hope all is well. Today is Friday, it's April 2nd, it's a new month. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. I just wanted to come on here and do this quick video um, because let me tell you guys about my day. So this is how it went. Um, where I live, where I stay, I did not know that it was against the law to feed the homeless people. Like to just, it's not against the law to um, pass out, like, you know, if you're doing it through an organization, nonprofit, stuff like that. But if you just randomly just pull up and just give somebody some food out of your car, just, you know, go and get some food out of a restaurant, hand it to them, you cannot do that, okay? So I'm working on currently trying to do it legally so that I can do what God has called me to do, okay? So um where this video is where this video has originated from is this story so today i seen this homeless person and um they had a sign that said anything helps and so as i'm driving by i'm, so I'm like man like god you know i i need to get to what it is that you've called me to do and not just that um I don't, I don't have, I didn't have cash on me. Right. So I can't just give them cash. And then I'm just like, so what I did is I pray for them. So what I often do is even if I can give them something or I can't give them something, I will send a prayer up for them. Okay. I don't know why they're out there. That's none of my business. You know what I mean? I just do what God has called me to do and instructed me to do. And you know, if anything, I know prayer works and prayer is powerful. Okay. And I have seen the hand of God move through prayers that I've prayed for people in certain areas that I used to see them at. I normally see them at and I don't see them there anymore. You know, when I do what God has called me to do. So I know that prayer does work. OK. And just like um, I believe it was Peter that said um, this. And yeah, it was Peter in uh, Acts chapter three and six. He says, but Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Get up and walk. OK, so he wasn't able to give him what it is that he was asking for, but he was able to give him what he had. OK, and so. As I drove off and I'm just all sad, right? Because I'm I'm like convicted because I'm like, God, I got to get on top of this, um, what you called me to do. And then just sad because it's like, I just wanted to turn around and just, I'm like, <sighs> they were like right by a food spot too. It's like, I just want to turn around and give them food anyway. So I pray, I pray for them and kept, kept going. Right. And so as I'm driving, I thought to myself, like, it's just like an idea just dawned on me, like. I'm like, what could I have done? You know, how could this have been better? And so it dawned on me that I can make a um, a hygiene packet for them. And so um, I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to get them some hygiene products. Okay. And so since I'm in the process of trying to build this uh, nonprofit that God has told me to do for the homeless, I'm like, in the meantime, I can I can work with what I got. OK, I might not have, you know, the the location, um, the food donations behind me right now and all these different type of things. You know, the legal documents, you know, says, hey, I can be out here serving the community. But what do I have right now that I can use? And so I said, I'm going to go to the store, which I was super excited because, um, yeah, like who does like. Okay, so I'm back. So I said, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to collect some items, put some items together and just start with what I can. So what I decided to do is to get like the freezer bags. And um, I wanted to start at least with 10, but um, this freezer bag had nine. And so I said, I'm just going to take it slow right now and utilize, work with what I have. Right. So I started, I made nine, um, hygiene packets. And if anybody doesn't know what like a hygiene pack is, a hygiene care package, it's just basically when you build a, a like a basket or, a, you know, a bag, or you put items together to that are hygienic, right. If that, that's a word and you give it to, you know, someone in need. So this is what I did. Um, and, and some of the packets are different. But every packet has water in it. Every freezer bag has water in it, has toothpaste, a toothbrush. Um, some have wipes in them. Um, they all have soap in them. And they all have face masks in them. And then they all have socks in them. But what some have, um, like this one has uh, like a Vaseline chapstick. 
So some have Vaseline chapsticks, some have the wipes, and then some have hair grease in them. So each and every one it has all the main stuff, but then some have like um, those three different things, either the lip balm, um, the wipes, or the um, hair grease. And so I'm really excited because um, it wasn't hard. I wasn't stressed out. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, trying to do all this stuff. You know, sometimes we want to do so much, but we can only work with what we got. So this was simple for me, basic and easy, right? And I feel comfortable doing this. And so I'm like, okay, I can do this. You know what I mean? Like I can do this um, weekly. Um, I could do this weekly or twice a month or however, and just go from there, right? Something to do in the meantime, right? And so this was about like 40 something dollars, which I was surprised because I thought it was going to be more than that, but it wasn't. So um, I went in and I purchased all these things. So I wanted to share you share with you guys this story as well as what it is that I am rep well asking. Right. So if anybody would like to donate to me um, to to helping those in need with these hygiene packets, please, 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 um, you can reach out to me and let me know how you want to help. Um, you can send something to my PO box and I'll have that information in uh, the description box or you can PayPal me. And I'll also have that in the description. You can PayPal, you have the power ministries and I'll also send you a receipt back. And so what it is, so like I said, this was just basic, but the main stuff, you know what I mean? We want to do is keep them hydrated, uh, uh, oral stuff for their mouth, um, cleaning stuff for their body, soap for their hands, masks to keep safe. I couldn't find the baby hand sanitizer, so I wasn't able to get them that. I really wanted to get them that um, because where I was had um, the big hand sanitizer bottles, and I didn't want to weigh the bag down, but next time I can because I still have some room, and I can get a bigger one than this. Um, socks are really big for the homeless. They need socks um, and then feminine products for the women, okay, when they're on their menstrual. So stuff like that um, is greatly needed and appreciated. And if you think of anything else that can go to, you know, feeding the, well, helping the homeless, like a shampoo and conditioner, um, lotion, um, combs, brushes, stuff like that, anything pertaining to the body hygiene that can help them uh, be clean, feel better about themselves, uh, just feel good. And hey, you never know, they can have an interview and just kind of are discouraged, you know what I mean, because of their hygiene or what they're lacking or they don't have. So anything helps like the man's sign says. So I just wanted to make this video and um, anybody that's able to support however you can, whatever you can give, you know what I mean, is greatly appreciated for the ministry. And um, all we can do is try, right, work with what we have, right, work with what's in our cabinet. And yeah, so I hope, I pray and hope that all is well and that you guys are blessed in taking care and being safe and letting your light shine in Christ Jesus. And so please reach out to me if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, also at the website, our ministry website, www.youhavethepower.com with two Y. So that's Y-Y-O-U, thepower.com. Okay, you guys, I'm going to finish up and you guys be blessed. Mwah.